I'm going to ask uh, uh, Major General Wong and, uh, and uh, Director Doug Main to come up with me at this time, if they would. It's uh, always great to have an opportunity to welcome everybody. It's great always to have an opportunity to, to have a, a public signing of something along these lines. And, it's, uh, and I would be delighted to be able to take lots of credit uh, for everything that's been done in order to get us th this far. But uh, I really want to emphasize that uh, my duty under these circumstances is a welcome one as governor and that I've been a beneficiary uh, of the input of virtually everybody in this room with respect to how we got here uh, today and, and, and this particular bill, which says it all in the title, Emergency Preparedness, and uh, relating to emergency management. Uh, and that is uh, the question of preparedness. It codifies and, and, uh, and updates uh, Hawaii's emergency management laws to conform, to, yes, to national emergency management practices, but particularizes it uh, for Hawaii and gives us an opportunity we'd not, we would not otherwise uh, have had were it not for the uh, uh, perspective and, uh, and the uh, judgment uh, of everybody in this room and colleagues that couldn't be here, colleagues and associates that couldn't be here today, uh, to make sure that the unique circumstances that, that Hawaii faces are able to be dealt with in, in the most efficient way and the most practical way. Um, state laws, on the whole, were written w about disaster relief and, and civil defense literally years ago. And so everybody's been working very hard to bring this about. And, and two people who had the most responsibility at the end to carry through on this uh, was, uh, uh, in terms of being able to present it to the legislature for its consideration, uh, was uh, 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 General Wong and Doug Main. So I'd like them both to kind of summarize uh, what was, what was uh, put together in order to present it to the legislature for its consideration. Thank you, Governor. So. You know, this legislation is actually part of a greater uh, goal that we had when the governor took over, which is to strengthen emergency management across the state of Hawaii. So this was a, a key piece of it because a lot of the, the laws were 60 years old. So in the hiring of Doug Main, when, when we first interviewed him, he actually read all these laws and he, he told me that they're pretty outdated. So when Doug came and, and took over and got the job as, as my deputy, I said, now let's go fix this thing and, and fix it he did. But I'd like to first thank all the supporters uh, who helped write, edit, and shepherd this uh, House Bill 849 through the legislative process. And again, this is the entire state of Hawaii. We're, we're talking about our mayors, especially Senator Sparrow, and Representative Aquino, who had their hands in this from the beginning. This has been a two-year journey and of getting to where we are. Department of Emergency Management represented here and the states uh, and county state civil defense agencies of all the islands. And we have HPD represented here, but all the local police and fire chiefs across the state. And a special thanks, and Doug can, can attest to this, is to Representative Carl Rose, so when we first talked to him about this, he told us that we need to take a harder look, and, and a harder look they did. And, and a final thanks to Jesse Fega, she's here from Representative Rhodes' staff, and Mike Vincent from our AG's office. So again, this, this is the part of an overall goal that the governor had asked us, to how do we strengthen emergency management across the state of Hawaii? So this bill fundamentally changes the relationship between the states and counties regarding emergency management and clearly delineates the responsibilities between the different levels of government. So for the first time in the history in the state of Hawaii, the mayors have clearly defined roles and responsibilities for preparing, responding, and recovering from disasters in their counties. What 849 does not do, it does not add any additional power or authorities. It actually takes emergency powers from the governor and had he had under HRS 128 and shares it with the mayors. So again, this is something the governor, when we talked to him, fully agreed that this is probably, this is the best thing for us to do. And sharing these powers ensure that each level of government has the authority necessary to effectively manage these disasters. So you, you understand what, what will happen when this bill is finally signed. 
Well, state civil defense being a very old term, we will eventually slowly change it to Hawaii Emergency Management Agency. But that will be a slow process so that people don't all of a sudden not understand we used to have state civil defense and now we have something else. So it will be a slow process. So our goal is to continue working with all our partners, <coughs> county, state, and federal agencies, and nonprofit organizations, private sector, and local communities. So as the governor's always told us, in our diversity is our strength, and the diversity of all the communities that help uh, bring us together, and all the hands that are in this room that help uh, us get this bill through legislation uh, really is, an te is a testament to the entire state of Hawaii that felt that it was time for us to, to have these these laws um, re-looked at. And I really, truly want to thank Doug Main uh, and his staff, for, and Carl Roth and his staff, especially Jesse and Mike Vissen, who, who had a hand in this thing for probably a lot of hours for four months, four specific months over the summer as we hammered this bill out. So Governor, uh, thank you very much for thank allowing you. us this time. Thank you. Uh, the General's mentioned, and I have uh, uh, Doug uh, in the process here, Probably the most, if someone would ask me now, what's the most vivid memory that you have, the most vivid uh, uh, time uh, since I've been governor, I will tell you, it, it, it came in, in early March in uh, 2011 when uh, I got a call uh, from the security uh, and from, uh, from Bruce Copa uh, saying, you've got to go immediately uh, to Diamond Head. Uh, there's been a tsunami in, uh, in Japan and we think it's headed our way. Uh, it also happened to be one of the only times, certainly the first time when I saw the blue and red lights <laughs> going on the, on the, uh, on the, uh, on the car, on the, on the security, uh, from the security. Uh, and let me tell you, uh, then when we got there and, and saw Doug and the whole team in action and uh, what we needed to, to do uh, and what we were, had to be prepared for was driven home in no uncertain terms. Uh, that was one thing. And then the other thing was, as, as uh, General Wong mentioned, and, and uh, what's represented in this bill, is that uh, the concentration of, uh, of authority, if you will, uh, in, at the, in the governor's office, clearly, in my judgment, e even that, that night, it became very clear to me uh, although we were working on a cooperative basis with the, with the different islands and the, and the mayors and the, and the, the uh, civil uh, preparedness side on the different islands, that th we literally had to extend that authority out there because we are, in fact, islands. And so the on-the-ground, if you will, uh, authority to meet uh, contingencies that are peculiar in particular to each island or each section of an island uh, also needed somebody on the spot to have that authority. So this is the kind of thing that was worked on, to be able to work on an interconnected basis and at the same time be able uh, to uh, extend authority where, where it was necessary. Uh, the, the ability to delegate authority, if you will, um, uh, up front rather than, a, than, uh, than an, on an ad hoc basis. And so Doug was particularly uh, 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 prepared to help see this through. And Doug, I'd like it if you could perhaps summarize where we were that night and uh, where we are today. Uh, thank you, Governor. Um, the, uh, the, the laws that we currently operate under for civil defense are, are based off a of civil defense centralized model where all the powers and authorities reside with the governor. If you read HRS 128, everything talks about the governor and the governor's powers and the governor's authority. And that, as the governor mentioned earlier, that is not the way that we operate. Uh, quite frankly, it's not the way that we should operate. And I'd like to say that I would really like to say thanks to the governor for even agreeing to share power. A lot of a lot of uh, people would not agree to share their power and authority. So, governor, thank you for allowing. Had to have somebody us. else to blame. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, you know, thank you for allowing us to, to take that power and authority that resides in your office and share it in, in the places that it most truly is effective, which is with the county mayors. And I, and I appreciate uh, Mel Kaku being here from the uh, City and County of Honolulu Department of Emergency Management, Glenn and Ogami Stroyford from Kauai uh, Civil Defense uh, Agency. This was a team effort from the beginning. We, we asked for input from our partners. We had input from across the state agencies from the county organizations, from our nonprofit partners. We had a lot of help from the legislature. So again, Senator Sparrow, 
Representative Aquino, thank you very much for helping us with this bill. And uh, Representative Rhodes's office, uh, working with Jesse, many long hours arguing over, you know, probably every section. And this is a 104-page bill. This is not a simple bill. But going line by line through every section of this bill uh, made it a much better bill when it came out of uh, Representative Rhodes's office. So I just want to say thank you. And I truly believe that uh, by signing this bill, Governor Abercrombie is moving us into the 21st century and is, is really helping us establish a firm emergency management structure and, a, and greater efficiency and effectiveness for the state of Hawaii. So thank you, Thank Governor. you. Excellent. Well, then, um, I'm going to I'm gonna sign the bill now. And I'd like, uh, Senator, Representative, if you would come up to be with uh, General Wong and, uh, and Doug. Very appreciative. Great pleasure. As I as as I sign this, I want to emphasize that that um, um, it's it's always easy to talk about uh, you know um, uh, a division of power, uh, the legislative and the executive, and so on, and uh, you can always get uh, find circumstances to create drama over that. But uh, uh, in our democracy, the overwhelming uh, majority of uh, of the of the time, and in the overwhelming majority of of the legislative instances, at point, um, what it is 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 a collaborative, cooperative effort among people who keep the mission in front of them, and the politics at a minimum. And uh, when you say, when when uh, as Doug indicates, you have a hundred plus page bill. That doesn't happen unless you have people that uh, thoroughly understand what not only what their roles are but what their responsibilities are. And, uh, and Henry and Will uh, exemplify that along with, with Carl, uh, who, who, who uh, couldn't be here uh, today. But uh, that's, that's what it takes in order for something like this to appear. It's easy for me to sign it. It's, it's another task entirely to put it together so that it is, is in, the, in the form that it's in right now uh, to enable this to happen. One last thing. We hope the time doesn't come anytime soon. That's for sure. But at some point, Believe me, something will be taking place by way of a natural phenomenon that we have to come to grips with in Hawaii. And because this is in place, and because we have a, a great team of people, both volunteer and professional, uh, engaged, um, our capacity and ability to be able to meet whatever contingencies come with that disaster are going to be uh, uh, tremendously enhanced, not only by this bill, but by enabling the people who will have that responsibility to carry out their duties in a way they couldn't have otherwise were it not for this bill. Done. <laughs>